Hello everyone, welcome to our YouTube channel, Express Your Data. In today's video, we are going to discuss about the interview questions of uh, Virtuosa. Let us thank our subscriber who has shared us this question so that it can be of help to others who are watching. So without wasting much time, let us get started. And if you're new to my channel, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. The first question was, you know, uh, introduction to your project or introduction to yourself. Okay, so in this, like I have said in my previous videos, do mention number of years of experience you have, uh, the, you know, the skill set you have, uh, the project kind of projects you are working so that it can help others. Uh, it can help the interviewer know more about you. So it will always be better if you can talk like how your dashboard creation or whatever the work that you have done has helped the project or the contributions that you have done to the project has helped so that you can talk. Next was question was related to project. Okay, I didn't get any specific questions, but questions were related to projects. So we have many uh, questions that can be asked related to projects, like say, you know, uh, how do you get the requirement? What is the volume of your data? You know, where are you? What is the ETL structure of your project? You know, how do you handle uh, the requirements and all? who gives you assignments. So there can be a number of questions related to project, like what kind of project uh, you, know, you have implemented, your client, you know, what are the problem statements. So all of that things can be covered in the projects question. Okay, so it is very generic, I got. The th next question was third highest salary in SQL that the user wanted. So what we can do is we can simply use uh, a function like this, you know, using row number we can do, or you can you also use a rank function to get that, but in the simplest way, okay, you can simply, you know, create this. And once you do that, row number will be created. And when you run that, you will get third highest salary. Okay, so the challenge will be, how will you do the same thing in your Tableau or Power BI? So I try to implement it in Tableau and, and Power BI and try to get it. Okay, so if you have any answers for this, you can mention in the comment section, let us see how many of you will be able to solve this in Tableau. Okay, so it is pretty straightforward. Okay, next question was, you know, related to lead and lag function. Lead and lag functions are very powerful analytical functions in Tableau, uh, in SQL that are available. So like say, you know, based on your current row, if you want to uh, get a record from your previous or next row, we have this functions called as lead and lag row. Okay. Again, one question is what uh, are the, or what is a similar function that we have in Tableau? Do you know how to get the same thing in Tableau? Like say, I want to you know bring the record from a previous row or a next row. What will you do? Same thing, how we will do in Power BA, let us see how many of you will be able to answer. Okay, so you can pause the video and you can try to you know give the answer in the comment section. So in Tableau, we can use, you know, uh, we look up uh, thing and we can get the record. Okay, so in Power BA, let me see how many of you will do. So, but in SQL, we have functions called as lead and lag. Okay, so something like this, you have to like lag is the name of the function. Salary is a field name. Now, how many record lines or rows you want to go previous or next? Okay, so I've taken an EMP table. Okay, and from that I've taken employee number, salary as our regular salary. And then I've created two fields, lead and lag as my previous salary and next salary. And I'm trying to do a difference in one more field. Okay, so let us see. Now see here for this employee, 800 is our normal salary, but because we do not have any records previous than other than this, so it has given previous salary is zero. But whereas if you see next salary, what is the next salary after 800, 950. So under next salary, we got 950. But salary dis difference, what am I doing? Previous salary minus, uh, current salary minus previous salary we are doing, right? Salary minus lag. So I'm going back previous, so 800, Minus zero is always, you know, 800. So we got that. Next is 950. Again, 800 is our previous salary. So if we, if we do that, we got 150 here. Okay, 950 minus our current salary minus previous salary. 950 minus 800, 150 we got. So like that, it is trying to get the record from your previous row and do a minus. That is your lead and lag functions, very important and very powerful functions. So if we are doing an analysis over time series analysis, in that situation that this function might be very helpful for you. 
okay so next there were what is the difference between rank and row number okay so ranks are specific to measures okay so based on what your salary is you might get a different ranks and in this rank also we have different types of ranks that are available okay can you you know uh, tell me in the comment section what are the different ranks we have okay we in tableau we have rank dense okay rank uh, unique right rank modified rank percentile okay so these are the different functions we have okay in this row number is a normal row number okay based on number of lines of data that you have it will simply generate row number so here let's say in tableau we can use index function to get row numbers okay next is again query to retrieve data from two different tables we can use joins here okay so uh, maybe he has asked like different joins uh, statements how will you write joins and all so we have left join we have right join okay we have inner join and we have outer join so we can talk about that okay so try to frame the sql query for your all types of joins that might help again uh, this question is little not clear so i have uh, ignored that so these were the questions that were asked in his uh, first level second level was more related to starflake and snowflake schema and uh, there was one question given and he asked like what are the metrics that you would be recommending for this okay so this will be uh, like like on the uh, go whatever we get in the mind we can talk about you have a car company data with the competitor data to key insights to be recommended for a car manufacturer like say total sales that you have done okay uh, how is the growth of uh, each car that we have okay year on year growth and all so all of that type of uh, key insights you can do okay but coming to star uh, and snowflake star schema means like say you know you in the central thing you will have one fact table which is surrounded by a dimension table so these are your measures like say sales id data data id product id customer id store id whereas each is surrounded by a dimension table okay so like say using this date which is a primary key column i will be creating another date table which will have only date information like that again if i take customer customer id is my primary key in this and in this and using that i am trying to build again another table called, called as customer like that i will have another table called as product so it is a very easy and convenient way of creating a schema in tableau and easy to understand the data flow also okay and any extension to this other than this will form a snowflake schema okay simple okay so it will form like a structure like star that's why it is called as a you know what you call it, star uh, schema but you know in snowflake you might also have a child branches to this uh, like so this table also i might have this table also i might have and to this we will already have so that will become your snowflake schema okay so these are the important questions that were asked in uh, virtusa i hope you have learned something new if it does don't forget to like share and subscribe see you in the next video till then bye bye and have a good day